I started a search for powerful females who healed their own trauma and became experts in their field in order to heal their own trauma and now help other women get empowered and heal their trauma, such as uh, psychologists, dance therapists, drama therapists, art and movement therapists, authentic movement therapists, Reiki, Qigong. So really combining so many different types of classical and traditional therapies along with new age cutting edge therapies, sometimes even using uh, psychedelics that are now being used for research. So this is what I was looking for and this is what I found. And I put it all into one place. And I have a psychologist who now partnered with me for this program and I'm going to offer it to you. Because I wish I had it when I was beginning my journey to healing PTSD and trauma. So in order to begin, I'm going to say a very important, but probably the most important statement I will ever make, and that is, talk therapy does not work. It's only used in the last and final phase of trauma. So you have three phases of trauma, and talk therapy only helps in the last phase. So why are we focusing when it's not even needed to heal the main, largest, most intense parts of our trauma? So. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna see some exercises that are the number one most important exercises that are slowly going to re rewire your brain and your nervous system to come out of the chaos of trauma and the chaos of PTSD and to slowly heal. And we study scientific methods, we study mammals, we study all the various types of therapies in order to come to these exercises and now you get to see them. Here we go. So we're going to start with authentic movement. And this is not pure authentic movement, this is actually incorporating drama therapy into it as well. And the way that it works is tapping into your body. So what we learn about trauma is that using your words and using your brain to help eliminate that trauma from your body is not going to help because the actual survival energy, the actual, the actual trauma is nonverbal. So it's a very primitive uh, energy that's stored in the body after somebody survives a trauma and that extra energy is stored as an extra charge and it makes us uh, hyper reactive and really uncomfortable and just feel like we have jitters and we're shaking and trembling and it makes us not be able to focus and to think uh, it makes us not be able to problem solve. So that's like a very jittery, shaky, chaotic type of energy. And that's what we're going to tap into to get that energy out so that we can slowly move to the third stage of trauma where we can talk about it. So here we go. So you're going to find a place where you feel really comfortable. And the number one thing when it comes to authentic movement is you switch off your brain. You don't have to talk. You don't have to do anything that makes sense. You don't have to look good. So close your door. If you want to put on music, you can. Uh, you do what makes you feel comfortable. Very often people say you shouldn't do it with music, but hey, you do what's good for you. Uh, often when it comes to authentic movement, they say close your eyes. So um, the therapists want you to really just tune out everything around you and you can close your eyes. Although for some trauma survivors, uh, closing your eyes can be triggering. So then you want to leave your eyes open, okay? So if you are using music or if you are not, either way, you're going to start by just moving your body. And you want to tap into uh, slowly feeling, so feeling whatever comes up. And if something comes up like, oh, I feel anxiety, or I just feel like I don't want to do anything, I feel like heaviness, uh, then embody that. Give that space in your body voice. So if it's a pain, if it's a tension, if it's a, uh, an anxiety, whatever it is, you want to give that that. Uh, energy of voice and you want to express that energy and let it out and say I see you I feel you and I'm going to let you go I'm going to express you so we can just start by doing whatever comes up into your body whether it's fast whether it's slow and it comes up for some people a fighting energy will come out and you'll want to scratch so you just scratch the air if that's what comes up in your body you could do it really really quickly if you want to slow it down and just wash your hands as you do it you can do a scratching if you just feel heavy with anxiety, then you can even uh, incorporate drama therapy and say, I feel like a big heavy sack of potatoes. 
and then you can walk around the room and say, I'm a heavy sack of potatoes. And you're expressing that and you want to really let that go and embody that. And what would a heavy sack of potatoes uh, do? Would it just like lie there or just feel really big and wide? Uh, would it be big and tall and just tiptoe around a heavy sack of potatoes? And you want to just embody that. Um, the other thing that can come up is some people will actually say, I just feel confused. I just want to, you know, shake around and I want to scream and I want to make noises. If noises come out, let those noises come out. Uh, a lot of the time when it's very early on in the trauma, people just want to sit there and be very quiet like a mouse. That's part of a trauma reaction and that's okay. Give that voice. You want to crouch on the ground if you need to tr cry, if you need to tremble, uh, if, you, if you're shaking, if you want to shake, shake it out. Um, all of this is your free time to express whatever shows up in your body that doesn't have to make sense to you. Uh, and that's all part of authentic movement and combining some drama therapy techniques. Um, there's also dance therapy where people will do different dance movements in order to express different parts of themselves or different roles that they play and say, I'm a mother and when I'm a mother, this is how I dance. And when I'm uh, going on a date, the other role that I play is I go on this dance. And so you're able to express yourself through dance as well. Um, and all of this is, ex is essentially training your brain to tune in, not only to how you feel, but to where it's felt. So where is the anxiety? Where is it located? Is it everywhere? Is it in patches? Is it fear? Uh, what feelings are coming up? You're identifying that. It's training you to identify and to express and to let that out. And it doesn't take a day. It doesn't take one exercise of doing this. Um, this is actually something you always want to be incorporating into your life by noticing and expressing through movement, uh, however that comes up in your body. And uh, you'll see more and more um, art therapies are gaining traction and we will be working with a therapist for the remainder of this program in order to incorporate classical therapy techniques with these creative expressive arts therapies that rewire our brain to notice trauma, to locate it, to express it, and to discharge that extra trauma energy that is stored very soon after a trauma. Thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, going on this fun little journey with me. And it's hard, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's traumatic. Uh, to give you an extreme example, at the end of doing these, uh, you know, a few weeks of this, often people who were stuck in trauma, they will re-enact what happened to them and they will do movements that will help, that is kind of reminiscent of escaping from the trauma. So a lot of these things are really, they can feel really heavy, they can feel really intense emotionally, but they're essentially finishing movements through the trauma that you had to finish. Uh, and that's it. That's it for now, and I hope to show you a lot more in the future. Thank you.